Hello, NURSA. I'm Pam Watts, NURSA's Executive Director, coming to you live today on Instagram. I'm going to be joined in a few minutes by Brent Harrison, who's currently serving as president of the NURSA Foundation. And we want to share a couple, um, some exciting news about a couple programs in the foundation that are really designed to support members. So we'll give Brent a couple minutes here to, to get joined up with us. Um, I see some people joining, which is fabulous. I hope you're enjoying the different Instagram lives we're doing. Um, I got to do one, let's see, last week with Stephanie Plummer talking about um, a great group of uh, black professionals in NURSA, black women in NURSA who are joining together and creating community. Um, and we'll have more of those types of uh, member chats coming up through this format. Um, but today we're gonna focus on the NURSA Foundation that's really doing incredible work. Um, our donors for many years have been so generous um, with their funds and in particular more recently with general fund donations, which really gives us the flexibility to um, to do programming like this, like we're gonna talk about in a minute, that's, that's just in time, that can be timely, that can be flexible, that can be nimble. So let me get uh, Brent to join us here real quick and we'll get started. I think this is Brent's first time on Instagram Live, so we'll have to give him a warm welcome. There we go. Oh, Brent, you're sideways. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, let me, let me see if I can do something. How's there that? You go. Now you're right side up. Okay. Although wow. Okay. I, I, fun too. I did not know how this would work, but here, give me a second. Okay. okay. No problem. I let everyone okay. know there we this go. is your debut on Instagram Live, so this is great. <laughs> well, welcome. It's nice to see you. I mean, you know, in in, in real life, you're just down the street from me, right? But um, we've been mostly right, connecting right. by video. But how's it going? Uh, you know, we're doing great. We, we, we opened this week and uh, through the hard work of our full-time professional staff on our students and to open the doors on Monday and see the students come into our rec center, which has been closed for like four months now, has just been amazing and exciting and energizing. And uh, so that's, that's really thrilling for, for me and our yeah. staff. So, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're doing okay here in Oregon, just to let everyone know, um, you know, we went, we, we, we had the fires and it was definitely rocky um, for a period of time and uh, the winds have shifted and we got some rain and uh, we're in a, we're definitely in a better place right now and we're hoping that'll continue. So um, yeah, so, so that's, that's, that's good news on, on, from the standpoint of, of Oregon. So yeah, yeah. how sure are you doing, happy. Pam? Um, good. And that, you know, I'm sure this happened for you too. There were so many members that reached out, you know, to to check on those of us in, you know, Oregon and, and California and Washington during the fires. So thanks everyone for for reaching out and and checking in on us. Um, I'm doing well too. Uh, yeah. You know, we're we're making that transition with members. Kind of back to school season is about to wrap up here with the quarter schools now opening. You know, mostly on the West Coast, and then it really becomes the full swing of fall. And and even though this fall will look different. Um, I think there's still a little bit of a rhythm around that, that we're all wanting to lean into, you know, find those familiar anchor points and, and um, do our best work, you know, over the next, you know, quarter and year and, and beyond that. Um, but let's talk about right. this great program that the foundation is supporting with the, the membership waiver. Yeah, I know. And I, and I appreciate and I, and I appreciate you kind of inviting me to be on, on this call to, to talk about it. And, you know, a little background, um, you know, when Hurricane uh, Katrina happened, uh, there was a similar program that, that came to life through the foundation and the board um, based on the, the tragedy around Katrina and the challenges around uh, memberships. And, um, and it was received in a positive way and uh, was very successful. And, and, and a lot of our members stepped up to the plate and, and contributed um, to the foundation to help support that. So uh, with, with, you know, the fallout from COVID-19, uh, you know, obviously that's, that's nothing to celebrate. And, and these are challenging times for a lot of people. And, um, and we must take heart where we can. And uh, so on, on behalf of the association leadership and, and the and nurse and the foundation, um, 
we are in a, in a situation financially where we want to try to, we're, we're bringing this back, what we did back with Hurricane Katrina, and we are providing a membership fee waiver uh, for lapsed members facing financial hardships, hardships due to COVID-19. Um, you know, we know there's a lot of schools, as you know, Pam, across the continent that are facing substantial cuts to professional development budgets, you know, furloughs, uh, intermittent closures, uh, reduction in staff hours, um, you know, these realities facing many of our colleagues um, and, uh, you know, who support the ideas that are treasured by the nurse of family. And, um, and for some of these members, it's really difficult for them once they get to the point of they get notification that their memberships are, are it's time for renewal. And, um, and then they're dealing with this crisis and the financial impact that they're having to make a choice between um, being a member of NURSA and, um, and saying no to that and having to put their resources elsewhere. So uh, what a better way for us to be able to um, support um, this population of members in, in providing um, a waiver that will help them um, continue their membership with us. Because mm -hmm. we know from the standpoint of the work that comes from the benefits of being a NURSA member that there's so many amazing resources and support uh, that allow us to uh, you know, move forward and, and be better professionals in, in mm -hmm. campus recreation. So um, it, it's pretty amazing that we're, we're, we're able to do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the program itself, it's, I mean, it's a fee waiver program. It's designed to, like I mentioned, to mm -hmm. provide lapses in, 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 in members impacted financially by COVID. And mm -hmm. um, so they have the ability to continue and assess the services and programs that, that NURSA offers. And uh, it's, once again, it's open to mm -hmm. professional members with at least two years of NURSA membership, mm -hmm. um, whose membership was current through the end of March, 2020. Mm -hmm. And, um, and once again, who, um, whose campus recreation departments have faced financial um, hardships. Mm -hmm. And uh, then members are given the opportunity to apply for the membership fee waiver via email um, at the end of their annual membership. Um, and there is criteria, which you know. Yeah. 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 I just, it's, you know, it's a pretty quick and easy form. You know, we just confirm a couple of things, you know, like Brent said, this is really targeted at uh, folks who are facing hardship renewing their membership, you know, either because of changes in their department or, you know, changes in their personal finances. You know, many members for a number of years have had to fund that professional membership out of their own pocket. You know, there's restrictions um, on their campuses or with some of their state laws. Um, so it's pretty quick form. Um, we're really excited to, you know, keep those members engaged. I mean, the, the terrible irony of these situations is that in the moment where you need your professional association the most is often when you're financially impacted and can probably afford right. it the least. Um, I also thought it was pretty um, inspired for um, NURSA and the foundation leadership to include an option for full waiver, you know, full funding of the professional mm -hmm. membership. But if you did feel like you could contribute something, you know, maybe it was a partial waiver, um, you know, and um, that's another way to, you know, make the resources spread further. So if you need the full waiver, that's fabulous, you know, no questions asked. And if you just need some help with that, that professional member rate, that opportunity is there too. Um, you know, and I think one of the, the reasons, um, that the foundation was so, you know, ready to do this, you know, beyond the philosophy, which, which you outlined really well, is that mm -hmm. our general fund has been growing, right? That, that more and more um, donors have been um, asked and, and stepped up to give unrestricted gifts. And, right. you know, our endowments are really important, um, but they're pretty healthy. Um, and they spit off a really good number of scholarships um, that we want to see continue. But we also need unrestricted funds so that we can be flexible and we can be nimble in these moments to make those decisions, you know, especially around circumstances that none of us could have imagined would come up, right? Who thought this was going to be our reality in September 2020? And yet the foundation board, you know, through that, that unrestricted general fund had the flexibility to step up and help members in this way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, um, and, it, and it's through like your gen generosity mm -hmm. that we're able to do this. And 
Um, so I thank you. I, I thank you from the bottom mm -hmm. of my heart. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to continue to, to, to give the, you know, make the ask. Yeah. Um, and even know that it is a kind of a difficult time right now. So, um, you know, the, the, the foundation board, uh, the directors approved a commitment of $30,000, mm -hmm. which is a big mm -hmm. chunk of money, but, um, you know, and, and, and based on the, the, the application process, we don't know how quickly we'll get through mm -hmm. that dollar mm -hmm. amount. So, um, it's kind of one of those scenarios where, um, you know, we're going to be in a situation where we're, we're still hoping that people will be able to, to contribute if they can, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, a mm -hmm. quick, and, and, and if you feel you fall into this, um, need, um, mm -hmm. please go to, you know, can, you can email membership at nursa.org, mm -hmm. uh, or you can reach out to, uh, Megan, is it mm -hmm. Granholm? Did I get that Grand right? Home. Yep. Megan Granholm. Granholm. Yep. Um, who is the member, uh, membership services manager at NURSA, yep. and she'll be able to help you and, and guide you through uh, the process. So, um, you know, it's, it's, we're really, really excited to be able to, to launch this um, opportunity mm -hmm. and to be able to help and, and, and serve individuals that are out there uh, needing um, uh, support based on, on the um, challenges around COVID-19. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, and we've had since launching the program, and there was a question that uh, flipped by that I just wanted to address. You know, if you're interested in donating to this, right, so that, you know, some of your charitable giving can, can go towards this kind of program, you know, you can check out on the website and just, you know, make a, a, a donation to the general fund. Um, if you had some, you know, questions, um, you can certainly contact Kim um, at NURSA headquarters. She's our director of philanthropy, and she can an answer any questions. But there's great donation options on the website. Um, and again, feel free to, to give us a call. And, and we have had, you know, several members call and either start donating or wanting to, to add a little bit more general fund donation maybe to their monthly gift um, because they were so inspired by this yeah. program and really want to help. And, you know, I think in all that's been negative about the pandemic, one, one bright spot for me, you know, in NURSA and also in a broader community is I think there is a real sense of um, responsibility and commitment to um, give back where you can. And for those of mm -hmm. us who, you know, haven't lost our jobs, you know, are still, you know, relatively financially secure, you know, it is the time to step up, right? It is the time yeah. to, to, get, to give back and help where you can. And sometimes that's money, sometimes that's time, sometimes that's just you know, reaching out to colleagues. I mean, Brent, you talk a lot about care, right? You know, we're in this mm -hmm. moment of care and we yeah. always care about people, but man, we really need it right now. And, and you know, I know lots of nurse members picking up the phone, reaching out, checking in on people. Um, you know, just earlier today, I had heard that, you know, as different things hit the news and different things happen in people's personal lives and professional mm -hmm. lives. Um, and this is such a caring, this is such a caring industry. And I think now more than ever, you know, we're really seeing the positive impact of that. Yeah, I, I totally agree, Pam. And I appreciate that you mentioned mentioned Kim and her work. And, and it's the entire foundation board. Mm -hmm. and, and I appreciate their time uh, and their energy and their dedication. And I think the invitation goes out to everyone. Go to the NURSA website, you know, mm -hmm. go to the foundation board area, search mm -hmm. these individuals that are on the board. And I'm mm -hmm. sure they'd be, you know, they'd love to chat with you. Reach out yeah. to them. Say hello. And, um, and and correspond with them on how you can help out if, if you need to. But I, you know, I thank I thank them for all the work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And you know, back to the supporting the foundation general fund. Uh, there are things going on, and yeah, you can give now. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, I go back to and I, you know, it, it's very sad for you to mention Phoenix because I was so yeah. excited to be there. I know. Um, Me too. And and I wanted to play in the foundation mm -hmm. golf tournament so bad. Mm -hmm. uh, and then COVID-19. So yeah. bummer. But, you know, I want to the work of, of uh, Liz Henry from UC San Diego and, and, and Mike Wyden from University of Michigan and their entire committee on, on planning what was going to be this amazing uh, golf tournament uh, for it to be just kind of, uh, you know, put to the side and scuttled a little bit is disappointing, but they came up with another idea. So, so it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's September golf and give. And so we've got seven days left everyone. So this is an opportunity for you uh, to connect with nurse of friends, maybe not nurse of friends, maybe draw in your neighbor, 
mm-hmm. or, or someone down the street or whatever that has a passion for for golf and get them out and play a round of golf, 18 or nine holes or putt putt golf mm-hmm. or disc golf. Maybe mm-hmm. it doesn't even have mm-hmm. to be golf as we know it. Mm-hmm. And, um, and go play around and I don't know, pass the hat or, mm-hmm. or say, Hey, here's, here's the, here's the link to the foundation website and, 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 and donate and help, mm-hmm. help, uh, help the general fund out and, and help, mm-hmm. Um, support a program like the membership uh, waiver program mm-hmm. and um, so seven days are left hashtag nurse golf and give we love to see your pictures yep. get them out there I think it's gonna it, it's wonderful and I'm getting out with a bunch of people this Sunday just mm-hmm. down the road and mm-hmm. we've got some Oregon State folks and we've got some nurse folks and we got some U of O people and some people that yep. are not even in tied to NURSA that are going to come out and help and support um, what we're trying to do. So um, hopefully you can get out there in the next few days and, and yeah. participate and have some fun. Um, yeah. You can all make a difference, everyone. So um, yeah, yeah I, I love, I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah, no, absolutely. And yeah, Brent's put together a great little mini tournament on Sunday. Um, <laughs> Joe at headquarters has put together a pet pet version for next week for NURSA staff and any plus one, plus two, plus threes they, they want to bring. And you know, I think first, um, what I love about this is, you know, it's a great fundraising opportunity, but really it's a great, um, you know, safe, socially distant sport yes. right? that we can yes. get out and make some connections and feel some of that care and that social well-being and that, you know, sense of belonging and all those things we so hold dear in this right. profession. I mean, I love the way your face just lit up because you all are <laughs> back in your building, you know, with your we staff, are. the students are coming back. It just... I think we almost don't know how much we miss it, right? Until it's right. gone. And yeah. um, hopefully we don't have to learn that lesson again anytime soon, right? But we're hanging yes. on to it for right now. <laughs> no, and thank you for mentioning wearing a mask and social distancing. We are doing activities that, that allow for that to happen. Yeah. So yeah. we definitely want to be safe through all this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Very yeah, good. thank you for saying that. Well, um, thanks for joining me today, Brent. I think this was... Um, we had a couple people live with us and more folks I'm sure will watch tonight as they're, they're flipping through their Instagram feed. Um, as you can tell, yeah. both of us are really excited about this program. So feel free to, to reach out, like Brent said, to a foundation board member, you know, folks on staff. Um, there's a lot of good information on the website. And please do, if you find yourself, um, you know, in a financial hardship situation, um, but wanting to renew your membership with NURSA, you know, please contact us and take advantage of this program. We we want to yeah. see you engaged and connected with NURSA, you know, even as the rest of your world, you know, personally and professionally may be, you know, spinning around in new ways right now. Your, your NURSA family can be and should be your anchor, and we really want to support ways to do yeah. that. Yeah, thank you, Pat. And to everyone watching, uh, mm-hmm. whatever you do, whatever you, you can do, uh, helps us do what it takes for the nurse family. So thank you mm-hmm. so much. Uh, be well, everyone. And uh, appreciate you being yeah. on and watching us today. All right. Thanks, Brent. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.